but the issue is the engineering work had to be done to apply for the money. So, you know, we can debate this all night. The RFP process has been in place for how many years the way it is, has operated, Jim? Right. Well, I think the one thing that, that the one suggestion that, that I agree with is, quite frankly, I, I would do away with the point system. I mean, the criteria, the criteria you're looking at is is fine, but I'm not sure about points in general. I think you're you're looking at those general areas. So if you want to do away with the point system, now I know those RFPs are out. They've already been advertised, and and uh, there's a process in place, but. I don't see it um, changing the analysis to have the points on there. Yeah, and one thing I, I brought up to Councilman Palilla and Dr. Kern is for the five or six or what, how many years we've been doing it, we haven't had one vendor. Nobody has come in and said it's not, it's not fair. What you're doing isn't fair. What you have on the website isn't fair. And I think you voted for it the last couple of years. So I, I don't think I ever saw an RFP before. Uh, but uh, nobody's complained. Jim, I, I never saw the I think if it was unfair or wrong, people complain right. every day in my office. Well, we well, would have heard from somebody complaining that it's not fair. Well, Jim, have you had any other bids on those? Have you had any other proposals? No, have you had any other bidders? Have you had any other proposals? Yes, we have. Really? What, what year? For, for which for which contract? We had two, right? Yeah. For engineering or for, for what? Planning board engineer, but the RFPs for planning board, and, and, and I don't have it in front of me, but clearly some of the RFPs don't have the familiarity uh, clause in it. And obviously the ones that don't have the familiarity clauses in it are people that don't live here. So again, it, it just doesn't look good. doesn't look good. I have no problem with removing the points. I think you're going to look at the same criteria anyway. I, I think that someone who is familiar with what we do, our policies, our procedures, our, our structure, our infrastructure, and um, the legal matters that are ongoing, if we feel that they've been doing a good job in representing the city of Brigantine, they're going to gain extra, I don't want to say points, but they will certainly be looked at more favorably than someone who is unknown. Okay. I, I No, no, but Tim, but, Tim I, I don't think, any, I don't think, I am not trying to disparage you in any way. I think you do a good job. However, anyone that looks at that RFP, I mean, clearly, no one could possibly uh, outscore you. No one. And just like we had seven Republicans up here for many, many years, okay? It doesn't mean because you have a Democrat up here now that things are going to fall apart. In fact, I think that the challenge and the discussion and debate makes for a healthier environment. And so what I'm saying is it just looks bad, certainly looks bad to me, that um, the RFP could certainly not um, go to any other individual because clearly the, the familiarity uh, um, clause states that I have lived in the city of Brigantine for 25 years, and that gives you 25 points. So no one else can, can match your point score. So therefore, and, and it's not a question of someone choosing you versus someone else, but you have to have that competitiveness there, and you have to give people an opportunity to compete. If there's a young attorney on the island that's been here for 10 years, and you've been here for 25, he can't compete because he can't compete with you because of, because of the way this is processed. And all I'm saying is, doesn't look fair, doesn't seem fair to me. Yeah. And, and, and I would respond to that by saying this, um, and maybe splitting here, the way I feel about this island, if there's someone that could sit in this position to be better for the island, then I would be very dull to that you should pick him or whatever that might be. I really need to have someone that's better for the island. But 
the point, Tim, is that it, it, it deters people. It, right. it, reading the RFP would deter someone from even putting in a proposal. There's two points to that. One is, as far as that initial discussion, we're looking at things in a new way, that's fine. I think that is good. Thank you. Thank you. But, but by sending it to the subject matter, like uh, an email that you can put on fairly or improperly, I don't think that's going to be the way to go. Okay. Hey, hey, Tim, we have disagreed on, on many times. I'm just expressing my opinion. Well, we are in the premise that we're forgetting. Any, any other? I'm sorry. We're forgetting the fact that we're not going to have to reiterate. We just keep throwing out that million dollar figure that we need to pay for engineering. Those are required engineering fees. Margate elected not to apply for the stimulus funds because they have not to exceed. So they don't do it, and they're not doing any extra work. They're not doing work that they probably need. Every time it rains, look at the paper, they always have pictures of uh, that first hour of one order in Margate. If we elected to go ahead and do it, we're giving uh, stimulus funds. But do you agree with uh, the bailout funds or not? That's, that's a whole other federal issue. That's an issue that you have to deal with on um, federal level. Even. Whether one of those figures, U.S. Senator or Congressman, or whatever. The point is this: no one said anything about that because of familiarity. Door Engineering was able to come in; they know our infrastructure. They were able to come in sixty thousand dollars under what they were allowed. No one's saying anything about that. No one's even saying thank you. So, is there any other uh, public, uh, any other public comment, Mrs. Dragon?